Hey guys, it's Ann. Today we're going to take a look in on the 2022 No Grit Bin. And we are winding up. This is probably going to be one of the last feedings. But you can see all the beautiful castings they're making right here on top. And one of the things I wanted to bring up was in my research, what I have discovered is that um, for many creatures that have the crop and the gizzard and all of that, uh, that is to use for eating food that is hard. And since I mostly feed my uh, worms here soft food, they may not need a crop or a gizzard in order to kind of pre-digest their food uh, mechanically with pieces of grit. Now, if anybody out there has got a farm or whatever, um, you know, please chime in about chickens and, and other creatures that have a certain or a similar method of um, digestion. But, you know, you feed them things that are crunchy and so therefore they kind of need something hard to, to squish it against for them to get all of their food, the nutrients out of their food. And so that was one of the things that I discovered in my reading over the last couple of weeks since we've looked in on these guys, is that it may have to do with the fact that I'm feeding them soft food that they don't need uh, the grit as much. I'm not sure how, how I would alter their food to test that theory. Um, because in my mind, I think that one of the reasons that they've been so successful in breeding and in surviving without any grit is that there are other bin critters in here, like isopods and mites and springtails. Oh my. So getting over here, I think we fed them pumpkin last time. And it's been three weeks since we've looked in on them. I'm kind of on a three-week schedule. And so we'll see. That's funny. This is actually the skin of a pumpkin pretty sure. <laughs> They've eaten all of the color off of it and now it's nothing more than the wrapper. But this bin is getting super moist here and so um, being that the next time we look in on them we will be harvesting them, I'm gonna start doing the horizontal migration here and putting some bedding over here and then we are going to harvest them and see how many worms we have in the in the way of mass before we move on to our 2023 experiment which is being started with only cocoons because some people thought that you know when I started the experiment they weren't you know original no grit and they might have had grit in their belly that they re-ingested over time so what we're gonna do here is I've made a nice big spot here and I'm going to get some bedding, and then I'm going to get them a nice size feeding of their favorite food. And because this has been a no grit bin, I have not made my normal prepared bedding for them very often. Most of the time I'm just making it as I go here. So then, that way I'm not adding grit, which is one of the things I normally add in my prepared bedding. Alright, so they're going to get a big big feeding of pumpkin here and then let's get them a little bit more bedding on top. Stick around and we're going to go peek in on the babies to see if we've had any hatchlings. And when we're done here these guys will probably go in with blue and they will no longer be no grit worms. Alright so I think that's a good a good amount of area for them to hopefully migrate to and then I will put the the bubble wrap mostly over the migration zone and then hopefully we'll do double duty and have this dry out and have a be a secondary reason for them to move over all right hang on let me go get the little babies okay here we are with the the babies from the no grit 2023 uh, we, we gave them some bedding and we put in our moisture and then we also gave them a little worm chow for when they finally do wake up what are we going to get so it's been about three weeks and I'm not really seeing baby worms but this being colored bedding it's gonna be hard to see them in here but at the very least, I can get things mixed up, make sure that the moisture stays distributed in the bin, 
and that way they can hatch you know when they get around to it it is getting cooler in the basement here we're down to 70 degrees fahrenheit and the moisture is down to 50 52 percent so um, we're gonna probably start having moisture problems but i think this is sufficiently wet for the babies to hatch in and next time around it will be december and it will be the haul out of the original the 2022 no grit bin and then we will start uh, this one now being that I don't see any babies. I'm not gonna feed it or anything I'm just gonna leave it be But I'll put the bubble wrap back on and hopefully that will get them started All right guys. Well, if you like this experiment give it a muddy thumbs up If you're not a member of my worm family click that subscribe button And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it ring that bell icon All right guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day